everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Product Lifecycle Management in SAP S4 HANA for Research and Development. In today's webinar, you will learn about the digital transformation of business and what it means for R&D. You will also get SAP's viewpoint on how companies should react, and you will get the latest insights into S4HANA and what it does for you in R&D. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Thank you very much. Okay, then I'll just go right into the topic. So welcome to today's webinar uh, on how uh, S4HANA supports the digitization of the line of business uh, research uh, and development. I'm going to, as you see, have seen go through uh, a bit of why uh, we're doing this, uh, what's driving the industry, uh, in which way does uh, the SAP solution support you, and um, uh, in the end we'll also see how you get um, to, to an S4HANA solution. Um, before we start, um, I have to sh start with a little uh, little disclaimer. Those of you attending the webinars regularly will know. So, um, as said, um, I'm trying to give you the best information possible at any point in time, but please accept that the future is to a certain extent wake, um, and we still may uh, change uh, some of the the things and decisions which are related to the future. We also have uh, a bit of roadmap content in our presentation here, so please also consider uh, that we have uh, several levels um, of commitment uh, in this presentation. There's the recent innovations, which is uh, available software, planned innovations is what we're currently working on, um, but uh, still not available uh, to, to customers, but it's coming in the, the nearer future and the future direction, which is more of a directional outlook um, and a long-term perspective on, on where we're heading with our uh, products. That being said, um, let's get right into the topic of digitization. And this is a nice quote by Jeff Immelt, the CEO of GE. Um, so if you went to bed last night as an industrial company, you're going to wake up this morning as a software and analytics company. And that pretty much, uh, in one sentence, yeah, sums up the the transformation that many many of our customers uh, are currently uh, going through uh, in the biscuit industry. So we're getting away from building physical products and and and, and ship, shipping packages um, to really um, yeah, being a vital part of our of, of your customers' business. Uh, um, and uh, there's a, a significant need that the product is more than just uh, uh, the physical product, but it's really uh, the services that a product brings in here. So um, that being said, products are yeah, uh, changing, um, and what companies sell uh, and uh, what the market demands is changing. So yes, uh, there's still a, uh, a market for box products, but that's going to go down, and there's more, more and more market coming up. We'd rather sell so-called life cycle services uh, around the product. So you're not selling the product, but you're selling what it does. Um, we'll see a couple of examples uh, later on uh, what is meant by that. It's really the trend is going away from selling the product and uh, uh, collecting the money um, and go move on with the next product, but you really um, sell a service. You provide a, a product to your customer, uh, which then provides the service and you're billing um, for the use of the service uh, during the life cycle. And it's your responsibility to, um, yeah, to to um, do the maintenance of the product, uh, to ensure the uptime, uh, to ensure technical upgrades, uh, etc. Uh, to 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 fulfill your service level agreement which you have with your uh, customers. So the life of your product um, really just starts once it leaves your factory. Um, and I think it's a very, very influential mind shift uh, that will influence the way products work pretty much. Let me elaborate uh, a bit on what that means, especially for product lifecycle management. So when, when the life of your product really just starts, uh, when it leaves the company, um, and when your customers start using it, 
Um, we have to redefine product lifecycle management, uh, maybe a little. And there's different terms in there. As product, as lifecycle, as management. And for product, it means the product is getting, yeah, I mean, it's always been mechanical. Yeah? All right. It's been electrical for a while. Um, but the software part of it, is, and especially the software part of the value generation and the differentiation of products in the market, is growing tremendously at the moment. So software um, is, is a real driver of innovation and differentiation uh, in, in the market, and thus becomes more and more important. And it's also, again, a vital part um, to enable you to, to offer services uh, instead, of, uh, instead of products. So this is the, the aspect of software is a very, very big deal here. <coughs> and it redefines the way products are defined. So asset services are delivered through the product. So can, one can argue, what, does, what is the product? Um, is it uh, the services um, that you deliver, or is it the product as such um, that's leaving your company? And um, to a certain extent, the product is also very much related to the economic performance of your product, the services which you can provide. Life cycle. Um, yeah, we've always been preaching uh, product life cycle end to end, from idea to uh, cradle to grave, or if you will, from the idea till recycling. Um, but it gets a bit of a, a, a different uh, twist here um, when um, you look at it uh, from that perspective. So it's uh, really until decommissioning at customer side. It's your responsibility to stop the service, disassemble the product, and make sure it gets um, yeah, um, recycled in a proper way. Yeah? Um, and it really is about a closed loop. So you can also think of maybe selling it off to someone else. So you say, think in different terms. The product is, uh, the, the hardware is still yours, and you can sell the service to someone else if someone uh, stop using your product. So it's your responsibility also to, to have the reuse and everything. 